What's going on YouTube? Xtrio just released an update for the Nebula Windows, which I want to talk to you guys about. There's also an alternative to Nebula Windows, which I just found out about and I've been testing, and it's pretty good. And then I want to talk to you guys about an accessory that you guys can get for your Xtrio that will make watching movies, especially at night, much more worth it. I'm riding my e-bike and using the X-Trio to preview what I'm seeing in the corner of my eye. So if you have a Samsung phone, especially, and you have DeX, this is a great way to use your X-Trio glasses. You know, I can ride, I'm seeing everything that my camera is seeing in the corner of my eye. But anyways, so, if Nebula Windows does not work on your computer for some reason, which you should try again because there's a new update that might make it work on your computer, but if for some reason it does not work on your computer, there is a software called AR Money. It's called Harmony, but I just call it AR Money because it's just easier to say. But shout out to my, one of my subscribers. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his subscriber name, but he told me about this software and at first I downloaded it, but it wouldn't work on my computer. So I literally had to reset my computer. Yes, I reset my whole computer just for this software to work. But once I finally reset my computer and got this software to work, it worked way better than I expected. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you guys a, a screen recording because for some reason, this app would not let me screen record it. I can screen record Nebula, but I can't screen record this uh, software. So it's hard for me to show you guys exactly what I mean. But I'm gonna put a link in the description where you guys can download it and try it out for yourself. Uh, it does not use as much power and memory as much as Nebula does. So I find that when I'm using this in multi windows, it does not make the fans on my computer run, which means that it does not use as much power. So that might be beneficial to some of you with the lower powered windows, lower power computers. So this might be a very good option. As far as the stability goes, it's um there are some there are some aspect of it that is better than Nebula and then there are some aspect of it that Nebula is just way better there. So for me personally, Nebula works well on my computer. I have had no issue. I mean sometimes I find there might be a little bit more ski, uh, ski, uh, screen tearing on Nebula, but for the most part it works well. Whereas on this app there is no screen tear at all, but I find that occasionally there's a screen drift and when I move my head side to side, it has this l a little bit of like a jello effect. Whereas with Nebula, it's just in one place. I can move my head around. There is no movement. It's just in one place. But Nebula requires a lot of memory and a lot of power. So sometimes I end up not using Nebula because my computer's battery is just draining too fast or I'm not connected to the wall. Whereas with this app right here, I can easily just turn it on and it does not seem to use as much memory. Now, what I did is, because it only gives you, I think one or two screens, what I did was I downloaded a virtual uh, software, which, you know, you can use to create multiple screens. So with a virtual, uh, with a, with a virtual monitor, you can actually have multiple screens on the uh, AR money. So what you guys see on my screen is exactly what I see on the glasses. So uh, over here, I have one virtual window. And to the left, I have another virtual window. And if I look up top, I have another virtual window. So essentially, I can have as many virtual windows as I, as I want 
although I think the limit is five but I can have a bunch of virtual windows and this is one thing that Nebula doesn't do Nebula doesn't allow you to stack your windows your virtual windows on top of each other like this whereas with Armani AR Armani allows you to do that but AR Armani doesn't let you curve the screen it doesn't let you zoom in and out things like that so let me show you guys what some of the things that I can do as I'm editing this video that's when I realized maybe I could screen record like this so I have this floating window now it's up top and keep in mind this is what I'm seeing I will be seeing in my glasses not on the computer screen so I would essentially have kind of like how I have up top view here I would have three different windows floating in the hair and the glasses hopefully this uh gives you guys a better idea or understanding of what it's like so once again this is a separate window by itself this is a, a, another separate window and here is another separate window so you essentially have three different monitors I just had to put it on this screen because I couldn't screen record for some reason but over here I can show you guys what it looks like so I highly recommend you download it and try it for yourself and just see what some of the things it's capable of. Real quick, I just want to let you know that Xreal is not the only product that I review in my videos. I do review pretty much anything tech that I can get my hands into. Headphones, robot vacuum, uh, e-bike, whatever it is that I can get my hands on this electronics is what I'm going to be reviewing in this channel. And that is why I created this channel. So I really appreciate you guys. If you can uh, subscribe to my channel, like, and maybe watch some of my other videos or just check out my channel to see if there's something on my page that might interest you because I want this channel to grow. I created this channel for problem solving and reviews, you know, reviews from my perspective, the way that I would like to watch them as a YouTube uh, audience, you know. So I appreciate you guys check out my channel and look at my other videos, you know, like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff. Tell me what kind of products you guys would like to see in my videos and things like that. As I get more money, I will try and buy more stuff that I can review. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Now back to the rest of the video. So this is the extra air accessory that I want to talk to you guys about today. It's a lens for extra air. Now, before you say you don't wear glasses, I don't wear glasses either. So this version that I have here is blue light filter so this is actually not a prescription lens this is a, a blue light filter and the blue light filter is great because we all know that sometimes when trying to watch a movie or a video at nighttime using the glasses they can be a little bit too bright and the thing is you don't want to use a lot of blue lights right before bed the extra air 2 or extra in general is already pretty good at uh, mitigating that blue light but you know if you've used these glasses enough at night time you know that that blue light is still a little bit strong with this blue light filter it actually helps reduce this a lot that way you can sleep much better at night time you can also get it prescribed now like i said i don't wear prescription so this is not something that i care for but if you have a prescription and you want to be able to use your uh, extra air glasses this is also an option the uh, VR Rock, the website, they have, they can do a whole lot of different customization to the lenses. It's not even just extra. They have a Vitra, they have a Rokid Max, they have for the uh, for the Meta Quest, they have for the PSVR, they have for the Apple Vision Pro. Like that's surprising. They even have for the option Apple Vision Pro, which just came out. They have for the HT HTC Vive, just a whole bunch of different. Uh, categories of this kind of uh, glasses and headsets and stuff like that but to put this on it's pretty easy you pop this one out just like that it comes out pretty easy so once you pop this thing out of the glasses you basically turn this like that and you insert it this way 
that way this bottom part is actually going down into this right here and once it's on you just put it in your glasses and it locks into place and just like that you have the lens on pretty cool so feel free to use the link in my description now keep in mind this is an affiliate link I'm going to get a small commission for everyone that uses the link. Uh, it is not a sponsored video. However, I would appreciate you guys. If you if you were looking, if you were, if you need one of these, I appreciate if you guys use my link. I will get a small commission kickback uh, for every purchase. This is not a sponsored video. However, you know, they did send this to me for free in hopes that I show this to you guys, which I actually thought it's pretty useful. It does help reduce the amount of blue lights at nighttime. So, yeah, thank you to VR Rock for sending me this. But now, on to the next thing in the video. If you find the content on my channel useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help my channel grow. That way, I can review more products. That way, more companies can reach out to me to review more stuff and I can show you guys. I want to do a video of the new Insta360 X4 and show you guys my perspective. I'm going to buy it on Amazon in the next couple of days and do a review. I also did just buy a Samsung watch, the Fit3, that I want to review and show you guys from the perspective of a non-sponsored video. But yeah, uh, please subscribe to my channel, help me grow and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.